Hey everybody, this is Organic Airman, and today I am going to do a little video. Well, I had a special request from someone that wanted me to do a video on how to operate a TR-98 combine, a New Holland TR-98 combine, and just do some overview of it, an overview of the combine, um, just how some of the things work and everything. So. Here I'm sitting in the cab, and um, I guess basically how to operate this combine is pretty basic, pretty simple. Um, if you don't know how to operate it, and I apologize for the low light. I'm trying to I'm trying to do this earlier today, but I didn't get ten, a chance to do it. But this is your key. Obviously, you turn everything on. Turn your key on to start the combine first. You turn the key on, and then you got to find the neutral position what this is in. And you take and while you're while you're turning the key you got to take and pull this lever towards you and then it'll engage it and make it start up so um i'm not going to start the engine right now because it's cold i don't have it plugged in or anything it's been sitting for a couple few days so anyways um and this lever here is also your hydrostatic lever and on this lever you have your your controls on here um, this is what raises your head up down this is what tilts your head and this is if you have your like straight head on or this is your reel Ra raises your reel up or down and obviously this makes the combine go forwards and backwards and over here we have our ranges right now it's in range two for your gears and right here it's kind of hard one of the things that it's kind of hard to do sometimes what you got to do is take the pressure off the gears to shift you got to kind of sometimes rock the combine back and forth a little bit depending on if you're up here or downhill to you know shift it but and then the middle is neutral which is in this is your throttle right here that brings it ahead and backwards and here obviously we have our control panel um this is like your ground speed you can push these buttons are pushable um this one here is like for you set whatever you set your um like cleaning fan or your rotary speed you can set it there and if it drops like so many rpms like 200 below, rpms below what you have it set it it'll go beep 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 and obviously this is normal when this light is on it won't show anything right now because it's off these are all your warning lights tell you what goes on and uh, that was your other warning lights here your brake coolant level coolant temp oil pressure hydro tank air filter battery your drives and gauge your water temperature your engine oil your volts your fuel and the hours for the combine if you're looking for the hours of the separator they are down here that's your separator hours your fuse paint fuses stuff right there so what do you do to engage start the rotors up this is your thresher clutch right here you push this little green button in and pull it up and then to shut it off you just push it down the same way here in order to engage the header clutch you have to have the thresher clutch engaged you do the same thing push the green button lift it up this is your unload auger that you don't have to have any of these running to engage this is a separate thing itself your horn <laughs> and if you're operating uh, head with a reel on there. This controls your reel reel speed. The top one is the the what's the the more um, this one is the more is the less sensitive adjustment. The, there's one down below here. Oh, sorry, right here if you can see it. Uh, right here, this one here. You turn. This is the that's the more sensitive one. The finer tuned one. And then you have you could you could most people never use this like you're running your reel this is a manual setting or auto or off we always leave it on manual and this is your auto height header control on or off on that's when you're using for soybeans your rotor or your this is for your um your chain speed right here on the front and your throat this controls how fast it goes or slow there's no gauge that tells you it you just kind of have to get out and look at it it's kind of silly why they didn't do that 
And then this is your fan speed control, which ours isn't working right now, which it normally should. And this is your rotor speed. Whoops, this is the rotor control speed right here. And then uh, let's see what else. Okay, up here you got your wiper, fan speed, your AC fan on off, your AC fan, your lights, your heat control and your radio is over here if you're interested in that if you got a cassette tape well you can listen to some old cassette tapes in here too if you have a, some old some of those and this is your blinker or your flashers your blinker right left turns right here and down here this is your unload auger one way goes out one way goes in this is your reel if you got like your when your straight head on there, one brings it out, one pulls it in. Obviously, these are your brakes, and this is your emergency brake here. And if you ever plug your head, this is your reverser. In order to reverse this, you got to make sure your head has come to a complete stop. You take this thing and you pull it up like that, and this is reversing it. And this is forward, so you can make the head go backwards and forwards either way, however you want to do it. So that's pretty much everything inside the cab. Oh, this is down here. This is your gauge for setting your um you guys can see this. Yeah, right here. That's your gauge for setting your, your concave. Um this is where right here. One way goes one way, one way goes the other way. I think this way is open. I don't know which way it is now. That's closed. So that way, counterclockwise closes it down and clockwise opens it up, is how it is. But I know this one's kind of tough to, it, it's easy to, to, to open it up, but when you close it down, it's very tight. I don't know why. And you got your air seat. This here raises it up. Pretty much your seat. You got your seat controls there, which is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, so, and uh, yeah. So we'll go around out back and I'll show you um, some of the, the guts of the combine. So I'll do that in just a second here. Okay, this is the head or the throat. Then you got your hookups right here to hook it up. And then if you need to lock your head up, that's how you lock it up. And uh, these are where you plug your hydraulics in for like anything. Like when you do corn, you have to make sure that you loop it back in and hook it back up again. Otherwise you'll burn out your uh, the belts and one of the hydraulic pumps. So you want to make sure you don't forget to do this whenever you do corn. Or whenever you're not using this, this has to go into that position there. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. And so, um, uh, we'll take a look here at, this is our chaff spreader. This did not come with the combine original. This was added later. Obviously, these are usually add-on things. And, um, let's see here. Oop here and this is obviously your straw chopper <clears throat> there's the uh, the blades there this is just kind of to help roll stuff in there and this here this is your chaffer on top and then below down there is your sieves um, and then if you can see up there oh, we got some little bit of excuse me snow build up up there um that's your pan that your uh, corn or grain falls onto and then it just falls onto here and that's how it gets down into the combine this thing here is called the straw beater there is a grate below it so that if there's any kernels or anything left on your cobs this will normally get it this will finish it off, get it all shelled out, whatever. It doesn't get shelled out in the rotor. Um, you can see the rotors a little bit back there. 
they're right up they come right up just almost up to this thing and so that's pretty much this oh boy and this is the tailings elevator it's got a little handy door here you can open up if you, if you need to look in here and see what's going on and so that's the tailings elevator this is, this right here is the main elevator that brings it up to the grain tank and you can see that and, uh, and there's some fines in that stuff there's a lot of stuff that was combined and I was going to show you the rotor and I was going to take this off earlier but oh, that thing is just it's it's froze in there it must be a little bit of moisture from snow or something that got in here because it was snowing a little bit when we finished up and I tried pulling this thing off I tried hammering on the outside a little bit to jar it loose I just can't get it loose so so I apologize for that I just I just cannot get that thing open I tried and tried maybe on a warmer day um this is one of your hydraulic pumps right here that belt's got a notch out of it i don't know why you got some of your control circuits up there your control valves for your hydraulics are up there and your fan is over here behind that cover there and um that's your fan control motor this is where your bubble auger one thing you always have to do when you get done at the year make sure you take these loose clean your grain out there there's another axis cover there you can get to um and there's a grease circ right here don't ever forget to grease that grease circ right there yep other than that i mean it's pretty basic i mean um you got your other covers your other stuff back behind here and how to set that i think i've covered that in some of my previous videos too how you set um set the stuff the book you got to operate manual will tell you how to set all that stuff in there and these are the hydraulics for like running the reel i think um but other than that is it's a pretty basic um combine to run so um what else was I gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say, I mean, I mean, I do have a few pet peeves with this combine. Um, I mean, is it is it perfect? No. There, like I said, there's a few pet peeves, but I guess probably my biggest thing I don't like about it is the fact that I don't know. I I wish. That would go a little faster <laughs> down driving down the road that's one of the things too um these duels were not uh, these these duels were added on here these are not original to the combine they were added normally it just had regular flotation tires on it um, obviously this is not rear wheel, rear wheel assist this is just just doesn't have it because the tires are turned the opposite way you can get a kit for it and put it on it would be nice but yeah what else I mean, the thing, the one thing that, I, yeah, I wish that it would, that you could do on these combines faster is I wish that you could set it when you change from soybeans to corn. It was, you could do it much faster. That's only my biggest complaint about it is that it's more, it's not, some of the things aren't as fast. Maybe they're not as nice as a John Deere on it, you know, in that regards. But other than that, the one thing I really, really, I really, really like about this combine where it shines is grain quality. I, I really think this thing shines as far as is what a, a good job of how it does like especially with soybeans and corn i really like how clean the sample is obviously this year we had a lot of fines in it because just because of the way the corn matured and everything not much you can do about it but i really like the quality especially like soybeans it really you don't it's so gentle on the beans i think but um other than that i don't know what else I don't know what else to talk about it on here because obviously this is a twin twin rotor it's got two rotors one on each side um there's grease circs i guess they're under here you can't see it it's underneath this calling but there's two of them i think they rotate towards each other i think that's how they rotate 
but you know the rotors are kind of slanting these are these things here are called the modules you pull them out and that's how you change your you know the wires and stuff in your grates i've covered that in some previous videos um when i've done that but they're yeah they're they kind of run in a slant but um overall i like the combine i wouldn't go back to a john deere but so that's my thoughts on this combine so yep so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video this all this is is an educational video just to teach somebody you know because someone requested it so just so that's, that's all it is so i hope you find found it educational you learned something and um yeah so anyways guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to like and leave your comment on this video if you have any questions i could i could you know hopefully answer them there so thanks for watching and i'll i'll catch you later